Welcome to the Merton Heritage Alphabet, an A to Z of our borough's colourful past. Our next letter, F, is for fair. Mitcham boasts one of the oldest surviving fairs in the UK, said to date from the 16th century. Queen Elizabeth I visited local courtiers several times during the 1590s and is said to have been so charmed by entertainment staged in her honour on the village green that she issued a charter for an annual fair. Sadly, no evidence survives to prove this story, but the fair has certainly taken place here since the 1700s, when the lords of the manor would collect tolls from those taking part. Local justices also recorded gambling, late night revelry and disorder linked to the fair, including the consternation caused by the appearance on Mitcham Common of an itinerant musician and lion tamer. The annual August fair was originally held over a three day period on the upper or fair green from the 12th to the 14th of August. Showmen and gypsies would camp on Mitcham Common in advance of that, sometimes with up to 200 tents and wagons parked near Three Kings Peace. This practice was halted in the 1590s following the formation of the Mitcham Common Conservators. In the run-up to the fair, local children built roadside grottos from shells, bits of pot, tile and brick, pleading with passers-by to spare a few coins for them to spend at the fair. By custom, the opening of the fair is marked by the raising of a gilded wooden key, thought to date from 1853, if not earlier. Today, the Mayor of Merton performs a similar ceremony using a modern replica. The first rides after the official opening were free, so the key ceremony was always followed by a mass scramble as youngsters rushed to board the carousels and other fairground rides. Mitcham Fair held many attractions from roundabouts and helter skelters to cakewalks and the big wheel. There were also sideshows, boxing booths, donkey rides and games of skill like coconut shies and rifle ranges, as well as penny stalls which sold everything from toys and trinkets to bric-a-brac. Fairgoers could also enjoy a variety of edible treats from candy floss and pickled salmon to oysters and a sticky twisted candy called Mitcham Rock. In the days before widespread travel, the fair brought news from farther afield and also access to new technology, including early cinema or bioscope shows where customers paid to watch moving pictures projected onto a white sheet. By the 1920s, the fair was drawing audiences from London and the South East, overcrowding and nuisance behaviour led the showground to be transferred to Three Kings Peace in 1924. It's still based here today, but crowds are somewhat smaller than those shown in this picture from the 1930s. Over the decades, there have been many attempts to halt the fair, and in 1974, a dispute over rents led to a nine-year boycott. Lobbying by members of the Fairground Society finally led to the return of the fair in 1983. Today, the showmen face many challenges from high costs and low turnout to competition from amusement parks, but the annual fair still provides entertainment for generations of local residents. If you would like to learn more about Merton's heritage, visit the Merton Memories website at www.merton.gov.uk forward slash memories 